Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Tim Lee. Welcome to Legacy Studio. It is time for the big video. Our first of our 8 to 10 trips that we want to take this year. This trip was going snowboarding and taking you guys along for the journey. The main goal that we were trying to do, two things. One of them was get a important picture that would kind of symbolize our trip. And then the second part of this little adventure it was showing you guys the different tools that I took with me, the different kinds of video tools that I took with me to document the trip. It became quite interesting, you will absolutely see why, and then in our next video, not this one, but in our next one, uh, we will do some editing of some of the photos that I grabbed while we were out there, and then finally print something up on my big printer and uh, have a nice final image. But, let's get you to this journey. Hope that you enjoy it. If you do, subscribe and hit the like button, that would mean a lot, and leave a comment down below. You ready? Let's go. Alright, um, I'm doing a quick um, rewrite of my previous video where I was saying what gear I took with me last night. So what I did instead is the Video Mic Pro is mounted on top of my Sony A6300. And then this is going to be the one that I'm going to be using on the field, talking with people and actually trying to have some fun. This is the one where hopefully we'll get the whole story. This is the Hero 5. Um, and it's got a, it's got the micro that I was going to have on the Sony A6300, but instead we've switched it up onto here. This is a, this is something I've wanted to do my whole life. Being a little kid growing up, I, my dad would take us out into the front yard in Indianapolis, Indiana. He'd put us in a little sled and he would ice down our driveway with a hose and then throw us around on our sleds on the driveway. And I always thought, I have a sled, I want a hill. <laughs> I want to try this thing. And I've never had that opportunity. And growing up, being in mostly southern climates, I've been very aware that one thing that I've really missed out on that I've really wanted to try is skiing or snowboarding. And then when I was a kid, I got a PlayStation and got Sean White snowboarding. It was the coolest game ever, still one of my favorite games to this day. And that game, of course, got me excited about the idea of snowboarding. And I've never had the opportunity to do it. So coming up here and getting over to Showdown, this is a this is a bucket list item for me. It really is. I'm um, getting to do something I've wanted to do my whole life. Yeah, it smells of feet. I can tell you that. <laughs> So before this whole thing continues, I learned something a little extra about my wife, which I actually thought was kind of cool and kind of interesting at the same time. Um, we went and as you saw, we tested her boots to make sure everything was good, but all of our gear was still up at the car, so we had to go back up to the cars to get the stuff. A little earlier in the morning, I let my wife borrow a pair of my long johns because obviously it's freezing cold up there. I learned that my wife really did not care about being seen in public kind of in her undies because admittedly uh, we went to our car and she immediately stripped down to the long johns she was wearing that I had for her and changed into her snow pants. Two things. First, I didn't realize that you didn't wear pants under your snow pants. So her stripping and putting those on surprised me and she and I had to talk back and forth for her to prove to me that you don't wear pants under your bib slash snow pants. Secondly, obviously I found it kind of interesting slash epic that my wife had no fear of changing her clothes in the public eye. Because quite honestly I grew up long johns being considered underwear because they even have a little, the little slit you know, where a guy can use the bath, you know, so 
to me, they're kind of like underwear. They're not something you exactly wear out in public, per se. And she rocked it, and once she did, then I followed the trend. So, yeah, I learned a lot on this trip, and all you guys are laughing at me. I'm just saying! I'm making a point here. I'm just saying, I saw a whole new epic side of my wife, not to mention that she didn't fall at all during this whole ski trip of hers. It's like riding a bike for her, which was totally annoying, and yet kind of super sexy at the same time. Okay, it's time to switch cameras. We're gonna move over to the GoPros now. My wife says I look like a snowboarder. It's actually kind of cool. Mm -hmm. First time. You don't look like anything yet. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we're trying to make up our minds. Um, training doesn't start for another 20, 30 minutes or so. And you can get on this thing and just do it. I have no experience. If I do it, it's going to look really stupid. But I'm tempted. I'm tempted, but it's been a very, very long time since I've skied. And I, I really, really pray it's like riding a bike. But, uh, it, it might, might not be. be. Like crashing a bike more <laughs> like this. You're on, and I love your butt. Okay, so this is testing. Going down backwards. Oh, backwards? I'm thankful I just stood up. You did just stand up. Uh -oh. Don't come near me. You should cross my skis, please. Well, and honestly, now I'm in powder. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to turn, and I would turn, yeah, turn away from me. No, other, yeah. I'm just stuck in <laughs> <laughs> that would be the weirdest feeling to me to have a board stuck to your feet. I like it. Can't move. I like it. You gotta get the snow off your board. I already feel it. I already feel it. I'm gonna die, but I already feel it. I'm gonna die, but I already feel it. <laughs> Soft powder. That's awesome. <laughs> you like it? I like it. Good. I like it a lot. Good. <laughs> you are adorable. <laughs> Alright, we're on this bunny lift thingy. The trainer at the the trainer at the bottom that we're not seeing for another half hour says not to hit the fence. My assumption. It's at the top of this thing is our impending doom, which is the fence. Probably a hill, and then into the fence. So, uh, I have a feeling my first experience on, uh, really taking a hard fall is about to happen in about two minutes from now. Whoa! Slow down! <laughs> well, I made it all the way down, but I fell about four times. Wifey's already going up for a second one. Right, the selfie stick is going away. Everything is going to be chest from here on out. So I don't know how much I'm going to shoot myself. But I got a good trainer. And he's totally on board for all the video stuff I'm doing. So this is going to go really well. All right, it's recording now. This is Lucas. Uh, i sorry I couldn't take you guys with me because I fell like 300 times, give or take. But let me tell you, if you come down to Showdown, or up to Showdown, I don't care who the other guys are in this place, Lucas is the man to talk to. I'm dead serious about that. This guy is the king. I, I, I am not an active person at all. And this guy had me going down the mountain feeling like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> We're going to go back up. Got to get the SD card for this guy. And I'm going to show you a few more falls. But, Lucas, you are the king, man. How long did that take you to get me just to do that? I mean, that was nothing. Yeah, 20 minutes. I'm telling you, if you've never done it before, first off, you will feel like a man when you get done with this. It's sick. All right, let's get some video off this guy and go try that again.
far. I have no idea what you can see or how long batteries are gonna last, but we're gonna give this another, another go. And I might lose you on the way down. We're gonna find out. <sighs> Slowly getting there. I'm learning how to stop on the toes pretty well. The hard part is the turn. I've learned I'm a lefty though, that's really cool. I'm really... You're definitely dying because it's so cold out here. I just gotta say, you are a stupid camera. So, so far I've managed to get no video, and as you can see in the goggles, I'm actually just using my cell phone. But uh, we're killing it. The only issue I'm having right now with all my GoPros, with all the camera stuff I've been working with, is the batteries are getting over frozen and the, and, the, and the camera's just dying. I'm not able to keep it warm. I'm wearing one on my chest and unfortunately it's unusable. I've put in two batteries, I have one left, and I, I know even though they're fully charged, it's not gonna work. My beautiful wife is right in front of me up here and uh, she jumped on a ski lift before I could hop on with her. But maybe she's really thankful of that because I'm making this video. <laughs> anyway, we're having a great time. I'm telling you again, guys, Lucas is the king. If you ever come out here to Showdown, you really got to chat with Lucas. He had me doing pretty decent uh, within a half an hour real easy. And, and on top of that, um, I've taken a couple pretty hard falls. But in the end, I'm telling you, they're not as bad as I assumed they would be. Falling is not as much of a killer as I thought it would be. And I'm 31 years old. So uh, I'm excited to be out here. It's a crazy, wicked day outside today. If you look, there's snow coming from every direction. We're in the middle of a snowstorm, and yet we're climbing this mountain to go do some more. Wave, Shabo! Thank you. That's some ice. That's a lot of ice. I can't get my camera to defog for anything, but uh, here's the new look. This is the bucket ice bucket challenge. Uh, so we got off the mountain, and I fell a lot of times that last one. My neck is is really bad <laughs> at this point, and I'm sorry I did not get much video, but I'm telling you, it's a lot of fun. We will have to do it again but I'm not gonna be moving now for like a week at least. I recognize this neck pain and it's not a good thing. That camera's not doing much better obviously, but as you can see, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a blizzard out there, I'd say. Would you call it a blizzard, Shabo? Yeah. But it's not the mountain, it's not a mountain. Yeah. So at this moment, I wanna go up and do it again, but my muscles, aren't communicating with my body anymore. I, I'm, I'm serious. I, every time I fell, it was a lot of hard work to try and get myself to stand back up. For a guy who has no, no activity levels at all, this has been just the most butt-kicking thing I've ever done. I think that's a fair statement, actually, now that I think about it. I've never done anything like this. By the way, my awesome wife, is getting all of our stuff right now because I can't move. <laughs> huh? There's stuff in there. I have boots and you have everything. Are you playing the good part? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really impressed by my wife. She uh, became the trooper and got us all tucked into the car and everything. And me and my apparently my job was just to get into the car at this point. So. I'm, just, just look at this, this is bad. The, the best way to put this is we're back in the same scenario we were in Life of Thrive. Yeah. The, the weather is miserable. We really shouldn't be on the road. But we have to get home and I don't wanna get stuck in that car. So. I'm making a statement I realize is true. So I want to say it again. I have never, ever, ever fallen so many times in my life. Ever. I can't even begin to, there's no way. Okay, there, maybe when I was a kid, maybe when I was learning to walk. I was gonna say, maybe when you were learning to walk, which you don't remember. But that's it. Yeah, I was not to be mean or anything. I didn't think you'd like not fall, but 
I was kind of surprised you were falling as much as you were because it kind of felt like you were falling probably about every, I don't know, how many yards? 20, 30 yards. Yeah. Uh, the problem was, at the point in time that you were hanging out with me, my muscles had depleted. Yeah. I, the, the last little leg of this thing, it took a lot of, and it took a lot of, took a lot of everything just to get back up and keep going. Yeah, each time you fell down, it took you longer and longer, which I totally get. Right now, I'm just trying to hold up the camera, and my bicep is screaming at me. So, I'm going to so put you down. it's an overall workout. Yeah, there, there was a complete whole body workout, and I could feel it in my legs and my calves. I felt my, my front calf cramp, uh, cramping up, and I'm going, that's not good because that's where you put all your weight on the snowboard. We're doing this again. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. But a day that doesn't look something like this might be a wiser idea. So we did absolutely make it back in one piece and I am recording this video about two days later and I am finally healing up from it. Look, I can actually turn my neck again now, which is wonderful. I truly could not move. I was really struggling to walk back to the car, get in the car. My wife did all the hard work. It was really amazing. She's an amazing woman to watch her go through and do all this stuff. I mean, literally she walked up to the car and I was doing just little tiny pop, 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 pop kind of walks as I'm walking towards the car. It took me forever to get there. And long story short, once again, guys, um, if you're interested in seeing the pictures that we took in the next video, we're going to edit some of those pictures in Lightroom and print it out and get our final image. So it gives us a chance to kind of look through how I work through Lightroom and at the same time come up with a cool image together that we can actually take and print out on the printer and maybe actually be a print that we can sell if anyone's interested in it. That's something we can consider. So that's going to do it for this video, though. I hope that you enjoyed. As you can see, obviously, I didn't even really get much of a chance to use much of my gear because everything froze over. It was ridiculous. Uh, to, I mean, I hit record and it immediately would turn off. And it just, and I knew the batteries were fully charged. I charged them the night before. It was kind of ticking me off, but I made it work and yeah, that, ugh. it was just a tiny bit frustrating considering that my main goal was to get video and pictures and what I ended up doing was falling, 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 and fall. And because of the really crazy blizzard that came through, which was absolutely ballistic, I couldn't even take half of my gear outside to take pictures because it's not exactly waterproof. A little bit of the shame, a little bit of the shame, a little bit of a shame, but nature does what nature does. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this rather long video, first off, I apologize it was so long. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below with your thoughts, and thank you so much for spending some time with me. Remember, this is the first of eight different trips. We're trying from eight to ten trips this year, so there are much more to come. Uh, hoping to find even more tech during that time to review on the trip and utilize as we go along. If you did enjoy it, once again, hit the like button. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye.